Hey there, space enthusiasts! Have you ever wondered how rockets manage to burn fuel in the vacuum of space where there's no oxygen? Well, in this short video, we're going to unravel this cosmic mystery and delve into the fascinating world of rocket propulsion. But first, let me take you on a journey beyond our atmosphere. The Cosmic Conundrum Imagine this, you're millions of miles away from Earth, surrounded by the endless expanse of space. No breathable air, no oxygen. So, how on Earth, or should I say off Earth, do rockets ignite their engines? Well, it turns out, rockets carry their own oxygen. That's right, they don't rely on the air around them. Instead, they bring everything they need for combustion right on board. The science behind the sparks. Let's get a bit technical. Rockets use a special type of propellant that consists of a fuel and an oxidizer. The fuel can be anything from liquid hydrogen to kerosene, and the oxidizer is, you guessed it, the oxygen component. Inside the rocket engine, the fuel and oxidizer mix together and get sprayed into a combustion chamber. Here's where the magic happens. Even without the presence of atmospheric oxygen, these two components react in a controlled explosion, generating high-speed exhaust gases that propel the rocket forward. The Design Dilemma now, designing a rocket that can function in space is Northwest Walk in the Park. Engineers have to meticulously plan every detail, from the materials used to withstand extreme conditions to the complex systems that regulate the propellant flow. It's a dance of precision and innovation, where every component plays a crucial role in ensuring a successful launch and journey through space. Fun facts to launch your mind. All right, let's sprinkle in some spacey trivia. Did you know that the fastest human-made object ever launched was the Parker Solar Probe, reaching speeds of over 430,000 miles per hour? That's mind-blowing, isn't it? And here's a little gem, the Saturn V rocket, the powerhouse that took humans to the moon, consumed fuel at a rate of 15 tons per second during liftoff. Now that's some serious power. So, there you have it, folks. Rockets may not need the oxygen from space, but they sure do bring their own party. From meticulous engineering to mind-boggling speeds, space travel is a symphony of science and innovation. Thanks for joining me on this video. If you found this video valuable make sure to like this video and subscribe for upcoming amazing videos. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars, 